three, two, one. Hello. I want to say it's been about a month since I took photos in LA. I was out of town for a little while and they came back with a lot of photos that I wanted to share. And finally, about a month after, I'm back with some new photos from Los Angeles. There have been so many cool events and cultural moments this year, but I have yet to photograph anything. But this one, the solar eclipse, it was going to be the last one until I think 2044 that you're gonna be able to see in the US. Before that, I decided to go to one of my favorite places in LA to reset and to start the photos. Do you ever get not inspired, but after your break, do you ever come back with this new set of eyes that you just didn't have before? I don't think these photos are anything new, but the fact that I wanted to capture these little details, especially utilizing the light, something about it felt new to me. These are actually really fun to shoot. If you look at them, yeah, you took some photos through the glass. What about that? But if you look closely, while we are able to look at this person in front of me, we're also able to look at her perspective, what she's looking at in this picture. And here, looking at the way her head is tilted this way, we're able to see that chances are she's looking at this employee in the light. And if you look further, you're able to see the neighborhood being reflected. Something about this is just so fun to me. It made me want to do a lot of these, showing a person through the window and also showcasing that person's perspective. While I was waiting for the bathroom, the curtain swayed a little bit and I was able to see the person sitting on the other side of the curtain. I think I got very lucky. Warm wood, blue curtain, and the person in the picture, blue sweater, orange detail. I think these colors really make the picture pop. If that person was wearing something different, let's say a black or purple sweater, this image, I don't think it would have been as pleasing. Because the curtain's so sheer, I was able to see what's happening on the other side as well. I was able to see all the customers hanging out by the counter. I've been here so many times, but this was my first time being able to really be creative with what is in front of me. Instead of taking a straight on picture of this place, I got to look at it through a different perspective. Maybe not a different perspective, but in a different way. When I got to the California Science Center, there were so many people and I was kind of shocked. I thought they were going to go to the observatory. Although there were so many people there all at once, they were all doing the same thing, looking up at the sky. Something about capturing people all doing the same thing all at once, wearing these glasses, it felt so fun. And while it was fun, it also made me feel like I was actually documenting something. As if I'm on a mission or an assignment to really capture this event.
about being there and capturing all these people looking at the same thing kind of made me feel a little nostalgic. It reminded me of seeing my first 3D movie as a child. I don't know what it was, a part of me wants to see a Pixar film, but I remember putting on these glasses for the very first time, looking so dorky, but loving it. This year really reminds me of that. When was the last time you saw everyone get together like this regardless of their gender, their age group? It was so curious and so excited to see something like this. I'll talk a little bit more about this a few photos later. Okay, let's go back to the whole emotion of everyone coming together, looking at the same thing, and being really excited. This picture is one of my two money shots from this day. Let's take a look at this one. Everyone, or at least 99% of the people in this picture, they're all looking up. They're all looking up with their glasses on, checking out the eclipse. But check this out. We have our guys in the middle, one smiling, and the other one completely in awe. If you look a little lower, we have this lady who just looks so happy to be there to witness this thing. And honestly, when I noticed her in the picture, I smiled so big like her. In my last video in Tokyo, I talked about wanting to photograph a lot of people doing different things at once in one picture. Here, while everyone's in a similar manner, everyone's doing the same thing all at once. The fact that I was able to capture raw emotions makes me so satisfied. Okay, I said I took two money shots on this day, and here's the second one. I don't know why I love this so much. Yes, it's a family of five looking at the sun, but the thing that really makes the picture is look at these two kids looking up while enjoying their ice cream. We have Spider-Man and then we have SpongeBob. It's just so pure. The facial expression on this guy with the beard, priceless. These kids looking up but still enjoying their ice cream. It's so good. I do wish the background was a little cleaner, especially on the left side, so the kid eating the SpongeBob one can be seen a little more clearly. But still, this photo, incredible. So here is where things took an interesting turn. While I was going through the photos I took for this video, I felt like something was missing. I was very happy with all the photos that I got, but something was just missing. And I couldn't really figure out what. So I thought of my regular photo video process. And normally, I usually save the third portion of the video for either a night shot or a cityscape. Why not do both? And with that idea, because I've been doing a lot of color photographs, I wanted to do black and white. But something about this day just didn't feel like a black and white day. It was gloomy, it was cold, and not a lot of people were outside. And for some reason, I didn't feel that creative. I felt like I was stuck. I felt like I was forcing myself to just go out and take some pictures. But give me a few minutes because I met someone during this walk and I came home feeling so inspired. In the beginning of this walk on a specific day, because I was feeling stuck, I kind of wanted to show that through my photos too. No, I wasn't going to photograph anything violent or anything that's a little too messy. I wanted to show how my mind was feeling. Frazzled, disorganized, 
hectic in a way because I felt like I just had to take some photos that night. It wasn't unnecessary pressure I was giving to myself. So whether the photo was not aligned properly or if it was blurry, I wanted to leave it as is. So this entire walk, not gonna lie, was kind of a challenge for me. While I really wanted to take some photos, it felt forced. It didn't feel natural to me. I kept telling myself, you should just go elsewhere and take some interesting photos. After taking this picture, which actually is my favorite photo from this night, I saw a man standing by his car with a Fuji camera. I didn't know what kind of model he had, so I decided to go up to him and ask, hey, which model is that? He had the six. We talked a little bit about the camera, the expectations, and about the hype, and he said he overpaid for it, but still, he was very happy to have this camera in his hands. I asked him if he got any cool shots that night, and he said, not really, I'm still looking for new places to go to, but in the past, I took some really cool ones. So he opened his Instagram on his phone and started showing me all the photos he's been taking. And every picture he showed me, he said, uh, I'm not good, I'm bad, this is not a good picture, that's a bad picture. And he later showed me this one account that reposts a lot of urban cityscape photos and they give a shout out to the person who took the photo saying, congrats, beautiful work, your photo's been selected. If you want to get featured on our feed, include this hashtag in your next post. It's one of those accounts. And as he went through some of the photos, he said, I really want to take these photos, but I'm not good at photography, I'm bad. Here's the thing, you're not a bad photographer. I don't think anyone's truly a good photographer. We're all photographers, we're all creatives, we're learning. Creativity, of course, some people have it naturally. They have the eye and they don't have to go through classes and trainings in order to get beautiful images. But for others, it's something they have to really think about and learn. They might even wonder, how do I get that creative eye? How do I become a good photographer? As long as you enjoy this creative process and you know you're growing in it, I think that's all that matters. As long as you're going through the process and you're feeling a lot of things, whether positive or negative, that's all that matters. You're not a bad photographer. Some people might not like your images. I sometimes look at my friend's images and I think to myself, why did you take that? Because I wouldn't. But because you're not aligned with their style and because you don't like their subject, that doesn't mean they're a bad photographer and that also does not mean they're taking bad photographs. Some people look at my Instagram and go, why is she taking so many building pictures? What's the point? I enjoy it and I love sharing that. But while he was saying all those things, the way he was going through his pictures and was really proud of what he was showing me, that made me so inspired, so warm. All the thoughts I had in my head during this walk just went away. So as long as you enjoy what you're doing, you enjoy the process, and you're learning from your mistakes, or you're working on your strengths to be even better, that's it. You're a wonderful photographer. You're doing more than others. Some people just talk about, oh yeah, I want to get into photography. Oh yeah, I want to take photos. You actually took the initiative to go a little further. Even if it's with your phone camera, you put yourself out there and your work out there to share with others. Because why? You're proud of all the work you did. 
So just know that there are no bad photographers, we're all learning, and it's a beautiful thing that we all have different styles and perspectives to showcase all the different images to people out there.